Welcome to our demonstration on vSphere with Tanzu. This demonstration, we're going to look at a new feature uh, using vSphere zones, which allows us to deploy multi AZ TKG clusters. Now, vSphere with Tanzu is already set up. Uh, we've seen this in a previous recording that I've done. And I've also created a namespace called Cormac NS, which I've configured with various resources. The one thing to highlight here is that there is a link to the CLI tools, which the platform operator, or indeed your developer, can download. And these tools are available on different operating systems, and they allow the platform operator or the uh, developer to interact with vSphere with Tanzu. So we're going to switch to the platform operator role now, and you can see here that we're going to use the kubectl vSphere command, and you can see that there's various options that uh, you can use here. We're obviously going to use the login option, which allows us to uh, log in to the supervisor cluster of vSphere with Tanzu, and then switch context to the namespace that I built previously. So I'm speeding this up a little bit. Uh, we're going to log in as the administrator. And you can see now that I have a Cormac NS namespace that I can use to switch context to. So once I have switched context to that namespace, it's a vSphere namespace now, I can begin to query the various resources that have been assigned to that namespace by the vSphere administrator. For example, I can query the network. I can also have a look at the virtual machine classes, which defines the size of the virtual machines that I can deploy in this namespace. I can look at the operating system images that are available. Looks like there's about seven of them that I can choose from. And also I can verify or validate what storage I have access to when I start to build um, developer platforms in this namespace. So for instance, Kubernetes clusters. One last thing to show you, TKR, just short for Tanzu Kubernetes release, similar output to um, OS images. So I have a manifest that's already created here. You can see it's going to go into the namespace Cormac NS. It's got three control plane replicas uh, that I wish to set up, but it also has this very interesting known node pool layout where each of the worker nodes is placed in its own failure domain. So we'll see shortly, this is how we achieve multi-AZ for the TKG clusters. So I've just applied that manifest and I can query it. I can just get the TKC, short for Tanzu Kubernetes cluster. You can see it's rolling out. And if we flip back to the vSphere client, we should begin to see the deployment of the Tanzu Kubernetes grid resources. So you can see the cluster object being created there. And first of all, we create a single control plane node. And so what happens is we roll out the first control plane node, then we roll out the worker nodes, and then we roll out the remaining control plane nodes. So I can speed this up. Uh, we don't need to sit around watching this. So I can, um, I can speed things up and move forward a bit. And we can start to see some of the other nodes being rolled out for this new workload cluster now as well. And the thing to highlight is you can see that each of the nodes are being placed in a different vSphere cluster in a different vSphere zone. So each of these vSphere clusters uh, equates to a vSphere zone. And this is how we're achieving high availability for our TKG clusters in vSphere with Tanzu with this multi-AZ feature. Okay, so let's hop back to the CLI. Uh, now what we want to do is we want to switch contexts from the vSphere namespace to the Tanzu Kubernetes grid cluster that we just deployed. And we have options again for the kubectl vSphere login command to actually select the TKG cluster. So you can see you specify the namespace where the cluster resides and then the name of the cluster, because of course you can have many TKG clusters in a single vSphere namespace. And now what we see is that there's a new context available, which is the name of the cluster I just created. So now if I start querying some of the objects in that cluster, I can indeed see that I have rolled out successfully the three control plane nodes and the three worker nodes. And as we observed in the UI, these are actually in different vSphere clusters, different vSphere zones. And all looks good. That completes the demonstration. Thank you for watching.